There we go, it's a jail door. There, now it's like super secure. A fight has broken out in the canteen. It looks like all the prisoners are running riot. Um, or no, they're running riot to get back to their cells because they're so scared. It looks like Chris Garvey, the 18-year-old who is complaining about there being no recreational facilities in Detention Center X, has broken a bench. And, for some reason, Simon Leversidge, at the age of 59, is unconscious and bleeding in the canteen. Well, luckily we have an infirmary uh, that we can drag his sorry ass to. Um, and uh, it looks like uh, Chris Garvey is now spending some time in solitary confinement uh, for his crimes against benches in general. Not the best. Has anyone else escaped? No. Uh, but we're in the hole, 81 bucks. Can't believe that. I don't know what's happened. Oh, shit. It looks like we found a bloody spoon uh, inside. Okay. Has he been... He's just been searched if we found that spoon. That's fine. Kronholm? I know you're not going to like this, but uh, I think we're going to have to search. We're going to have to search this whole cell. Kronholm, we're searching your goddamn cell. Don't even think about it. Look at that. He's under protest. He wants recreation. Kronholm, don't worry. Recreation is coming. For the time being, though, we're going to make sure that you haven't stolen... Oh, look at that. Look what we found, Kronholm. Hey, you're trying to hide a spoon in the toilet. That's not very hygienic. What were you going to do with that spoon? Eat your pudding after it's been in the toilet? You crazy bastard. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Uh, okay, we have a chief now, which means that we have deployment. Look at this. There's no access to any of these places, apparently. Um, and I think it's because of this. I think it's because this j this job has been blocked to install the... There's no route to here. All right, fine. We're just going to have to dismantle this wall. Uh, we're going to dismantle it right here. And then we're going to place a jail door. Look at that. You have to actually have a guard open the front door of Detention Center X. That's how secure it is. And uh, actually, before we run out of power to shit. Look, I'm jumping around a lot here. Um, and not really paying too much attention uh, as to what I should be doing. Which is, uh, of course, the worst. Here we go. Look. We get these three capacitors set up to increase our power. Uh, because it's becoming a problem. The whole thing is going to shut down. It's going to be like the containment unit on Ghostbusters. I know everybody's so fond of that sound. I know I am. The one that goes... Uh, interestingly, there's a similar sound in uh, Star Wars when Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, famously shuts down uh, Darth Vader's um, private jacuzzi room. Uh, and he has to bypass all of those guards, shuts it down, and Darth Vader, uh, of course, is in the middle of having a jacuzzi, and he just goes absolutely apeshit, and it's probably the pinnacle of the entire, uh, well, it's not even a trilogy anymore, because there's like six Star Wars movies now, isn't there? Uh, three of them nobody cares about. It's those ones that were made in the 60s that are like just really garbage and had no CGI. Of course, the new ones are like the goddamn best, and everybody loved them. Uh, including me. Uh, I think our storage room is like totally packed out. What is all this stuff? Uh, there's a whole bunch of beds in here and drains. There's a whole bunch of drains in here. And it looks like, who's this? He's tired. But holy shit. Talk about dedication to the cause. Look at that. Even though, oh, look at this. We're going to get in here before. Fuck you. He installed one. I can't believe it. What a fucking asshole. All right, fine. Um... We are going to build walls then. <laughs> We're going to build a whole bunch of walls. We're going to get some more cells set up uh, so that we can get some more prisoners in and we can make some more money. Look at this. Fuck, I love this. See, the planning really pays off, doesn't it? Because then all you have to do is come in here and fill up all the... Oh, shit. All the planned walls with actual brick walls. And actually, uh, this doesn't need to be here because this is a hallway. Uh, there we go. Fine. Let's have this wall like this. We're going to have uh, a bunch of stuff in here like this. These are all cells. Uh, and before we actually make these cells, we're going to try to unlock this thing. Where is it? Uh, it's in bureaucracy. Clone. Oh, look, this is totally fucking worth it. We're going to put the foreman to work for 1500 bucks. Yes. Make the clone. Come on, foreman. This allows you to clone rooms, such as cells, which is actually uh, pretty good. The only thing is, though, is that... All our, all, all our cells currently face this way. But we'll only need to lay out one of these cells to get uh, all the other cells uh, up up into good shape. And of course, Jimmy steers here with his uh, wacky cell compared to all the rest of them. Look, everybody else's cell is perfectly uh, lined up or whatever. Um, I mean, this part of the cell block is probably the best. Because look, if this guy is sitting on the toilet here and he's staring out of the uh, bars of his cell, he only sees a wall. 
these guys on the other hand will be staring at each other uh, I and I mean if you're in the unfortunate situation where uh, two grown men are sitting on the can staring at each other deep into each other's eyes I, I don't even know actually I think maybe the entire universe will explode because I don't think that's ever happened before. I don't think human beings were designed, especially male human beings, were ever designed uh, to stare at each other whilst taking a dump on the toilet. I'm pretty sure that that's a, a huge no-no. Who delivered all these lights? Well, where did they come from? Is this just acting as overflow now for all this other shit? Jesus. Um, visitation rights. Apparently I've added a pool table somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, it was in here. <laughs> it's in the staff room. Uh, we're going to need to get this uh, common area sorted out fairly soon. Uh, let us now uh, remove these walls. This... Oh shit, no. Before we do that, we're going to build a wall here and we're going to dismantle this door. We're going to get rid of this door so that this part of the cell block is secured. So cell block A has now become an L shape. Uh, and it's quite big, actually. It's the minimum security um, cell block for Detention Center X. And we can have some other ones, like, up here and stuff later. Oh, shit. We've just gotten a huge delivery of potatoes. Mmm. God. I, I'm sure all the prisoners are rejoicing right now, knowing that it is potato day. Holy crap. Uh, has that been dismantled? Fucking... Have you done it? Yes. Okay. It just needs to be dumped, apparently. Fine. Uh, let's demolish these walls because this is actually a hallway, believe it or not. Um, let's get some lights and some power and stuff in here. We're going to run the electrical cable in like this and up like that. That should be enough power. May maybe make sure that a bit gets in there like that. And let's also have this water pipe. Get this small. Look at this. We're going to go uh, all nuts for the utilities straight away. We're going to get this large pipe stretch underneath this guy's cell here. Of course, this is going to be Clint Eastwood's cell. Uh, and then when he decides to make his... I don't even know why I'm connecting these pipes down here. Because, well, no, they are going to be cells. I think we could probably use another solitary cell or two. So maybe these two can be solitaries. I like making solitary cells big. I know a lot of people say that they don't need to be big and that they're more luxurious than the other cells. But that's not true because I don't know if you've noticed, but this solitary cell actually has nothing in it. And I think that... Uh, being in a small cell with nothing in it is just as bad as being in a big cell with nothing in it. I don't know if you've ever been in a big room before with nothing in it, but it's a bit daunting, and actually you don't know really where to put yourself. I mean, you can run around, yeah, but there's only so much running around you can do before you actually go batshit insane and just start flinging yourself against the wall because there's nothing in that room. So I think the actual lesson there is that a small empty room is just as bad as a big empty room. And uh, Detention Center X policy states that solitary confinement cells have to be big and empty uh, so that the prisoners uh, go insane quicker. Fuck this drain. What the fuck is that? And what's this? Oh, it's a box. Okay. I almost got really mad there. Uh, in actual fact, <coughs> I don't know if you noticed, I did get pretty mad. Uh, and I'm sorry for that. All right. <coughs> Let's get some lights in. We're going to get lights in a uh, shit. I, I didn't really need to do that. I only needed to do it in one spot because we're going to use this cloning tool. Totally forgot about it. That's fine. It looks like we've approved the clone. Now, if you can believe this. Oh, actually, while we're at it, too. Let's go back into bureaucracy and uh, let's also uh, get patrols unlocked for a grand. A bit slow. I could have done that a lot sooner and I didn't. And I apologize for that. Of course, it goes without saying. I'm sorry for pretty much everything. Every, every fuck up that you've seen so far in Detention Center X... I am genuinely sorry for. It's been a pretty rough one. But I feel like we're getting there now. Uh, okay, let's go for um, a common room. Look at this. This common room is going to stretch all the way down like this. It's going to be kind of cool, actually. Prisoners can just come straight out of their cells and just, like, fucking shoot a game of pool or watch a bit of TV or whatever because there's no TVs in the cells. Uh, and that's kind of nice, you know? They can stay within the cell block uh, to have their recreation. Um, most of them are complaining about it, and actually the danger level is becoming high because 10 prisoners are seriously now complaining about the lack of recreation. Don't worry, guys. We're going we're gonna to totally sort that out, and it's all part of... Um, making Detention Center X amazing. I was going to say visitation rights, but actually it's nothing to do with the visitation rights. We need five phone booths, uh, at least two TVs, we'll have that. Uh, we need some visitors, we'll have some. And of course we need to build the visitation room. We'll do that eventually. Uh, okay, fine. In the meantime, 
let us have uh, some more phone booths outside. We're going to have another one here, and uh, let's have these ones here. We'll at least capture that uh, thing uh, while we can. And we're going to have a pool table here. Let's also have a pool table here. And uh, let's have, like, a couch. Where's the couch? Uh, a wide sofa. Look, this is going to be great. These prisoners are going to love this. Uh, we'll have the TV facing the sofa. We'll have two TVs. Look at that. If you don't want to watch one, you can just watch the other. And then we'll flip these. Oh, shit. You can't flip them around that way. Okay, fine. That's fine. We're going to move them, like, here and here. And then we're going to have... Where's the sofa? A wide sofa again. Another wide sofa facing the TVs. Okay, cool. And then we can maybe even have, like, a sofa here. Or another pool table. No, let's have TVs. We're going to have more TVs here and here. And they've got their weight benches outside. Fine. There's no... No need to complain any more prisoners of detention center x i won't have it i will not have any more complaining okay let's start using up some of these beds now uh we're gonna have a bed like this uh, we're gonna also need a toilet in here and we're gonna make these all cells where cells look these are all gonna be cells these are all gonna be cells uh this could be cell and uh, we wanted to make these ones solitary, didn't we? <laughs> solitary confinement. It's actually quite nice to think that the guys who are in solitary confinement will be in there crying because all the other dudes will be out here really living it up, having a good time watching TV and stuff. Holy shit. Can't believe that. Uh, let's get some lights in the hallway. We're going to have some lights uh, like this and like that and uh, maybe even like that. And then we're going to need some above the pool table too so that these guys can see uh, when they're sharking each other. And, of course, that is going to cause all sorts of goddamn drama. Uh, it's it's just inevitable. Uh, let us also, before we use the cloning tool, which I might add is, uh, is pretty fantastic, we're going to set up one other uh, cell, uh, and it's going to be this one, uh, so that we can clone it and then uh, apply the cloning across the board. Uh, look, we're even going to get these doors set up to you. There we go. Two more cells, uh, soon to be many more. Who's that? What the hell's going on? Oh my god, look at this. It's Allison and Garvey and a whole bunch of other people. It's Steers. Jimmy Steers, who has the wackiest cell in the whole prison, is being searched right now. And it looks like they're about to find... They found a gun. No, I'm just joking. It's a spoon. There's nowhere for these guys to get guns. Uh, oh, another thing that we need to worry about uh, with visitation is, uh, is contraband as well. Uh, visitation and people visiting the prison opens up a whole new world of contraband. These motherfuckers can get cigarettes and, like, knives and an Uzi and stuff because their relatives will just bring this stuff in for them, which is unbelievable to me. I think that that's unbelievable. Do we have patrols yet? Yeah, we do! Holy shit, we have... We actually have patrols. Okay, fine. We're gonna get five more guards. How much do these guys cost again? A hundred per day. We can just afford it. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. We have ten guards. Uh, and... Uh, all we need to do now is assign patrol routes. Holy shit, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. This is really shaping up now. Okay, we will do that as soon as we have uh, cloned uh, these cells. Look at this. Okay, clone. We're going to clone uh, like this. This is how the clone works. See, you go like this uh, with your right mouse button. You select the cloned area, uh, which is the cell, and then you place it. See, look at this. Fucking easy peasy. Look at this. I just made a whole bunch of cells. Look at that. All everything that it needs is in there. Lights, the door, the beds, toilets, everything. Perfect. Uh, let's do another one. We're going to do another one. We're going to do this side this time. And we're going to shove a bunch of cells in here like this. Perfecto. That's going to raise um, our capacity for prisoners big time uh, and we're going to be able to accept another intake of prisoners uh, which is going to be fantastic it'll give it, get us some more money as well uh, we'll open it up for low risk uh, let's go to deployment and uh, we can see here all of this stuff there's no access to that that's fine uh, we, we can actually probably dismantle this area in a minute um, we're going to have uh, minimum security look this whole area is just for minimum security now uh, which is kind of cool actually isn't it